A caregiver facility in Macon says making ends meet has been hard, especially since May. That's when Governor Kemp vetoed over $200 million from the state budget, where one of those lines vetoed funding the business was counting on for financial help. Celine Arif has more. CEO and owner of Angels at Home, Stephanie Henson. We've been taking Medicaid clients for like 17 years. Said things haven't been easy since May. She was counting on Governor Brian Kemp's approving a 4% rate increase for businesses like hers that care for Medicaid patients. The Medicaid reimbursement rates from the state are not keeping up. That's because inflation's risen a lot since the pandemic. That makes it a lot more difficult to pay the caregivers. They, they deserve a pay raise. They are worth every penny. A good caregiver who's providing care for an elderly or disabled person, they need whatever they can get. With no rate raise from the state, she's had to find other ways to keep up with rising costs. Those costs include higher wages for her caregivers. Because their cost of living has gone up substantially. You know, they're having to drive to the client's homes, the price of gas has gone up. Now that difference might just be a few dollars, but over time, Henson said that change starts to add up. This is going to be the kind of thing that makes it hard for people to want to continue to accept Medicaid clients or to become a Medicaid provider in the first place. You know, if it's not financially sustainable, some people just won't come and join the pool. As hard as it is, Henson said she's still keeping her Medicaid patients and accepting new ones. Regardless of how your bill is being paid, whether it's out of your own pocket or whether Medicaid is paying for it or you have long-term care insurance, we want you to have excellent care. Reporting in Macon, Celine Air 13 WMAZ News. Henson said to balance costs from inflation and the lack of increased rates from the state, she's had to slightly raise her rates for private paying clients. She says she's thankful for the General Assembly who approved the rate increase that Governor Kim vetoed and hopes to re hopes he reconsiders the change next year. Happening Thursday, Piedmont Macon hosting a symposium for caregivers. Topics will range from burnout to assisted living and hospice options. The National Council on Aging says about 40 million people in the U.S. provide care to older adults and adults who have disabilities. The event happens at Forest Hills Church in Macon from 9 until noon. Registration begins that morning at 8.30. Piedmont and Gentive Hospice say it's an opportunity for caregivers to hear personal stories and learn about available resources in the community. The event is free and open to everyone.